Lowy is a fine arts service organization that's been servicing the fine art community for over 100 years, 102 to be exact. It was started in 1907 by Julius Lowy. Many people don't know that my dad worked for the Lowy Company shortly after uh, Mr. Lowy's death. He worked for his widow uh, and working his way through accounting school. Uh, as it turned out, um, he grew to love uh, what he was doing at Lowy and eventually became a picture restorer there. To date, um, we've kept both the restoring room, both painting conservation, oil paintings and works of art on paper, uh, as well as buying and selling antique frames and reproducing and designing frames for artists. You could say that we're the jack of all trades, but we're the master of all. I worked with Lowy for a very long time, uh, starting with my days as a curator in the Department of American Paintings and Sculpture at the Metropolitan Museum. I'm the uh, second generation of Shars in the business. My son, Brad Shar, joined me, and so he represents the third generation. We're also a family business in that the art business is sort of a family kind of environment. The family aspect of Lowy has really been the core of my relationship. We've always had a very interesting clientele. You know, when I was a kid uh, coming in on weekends, and it was common for me to meet the Rockefellers and the Bostwicks and the Phipps, families that collected paintings. We also had celebrities, a lot of artists. Salvador Dali was a common visitor at Lowy. In fact, would come in and sometimes would buy the frame and then present us with the painting that he painted to go in the frame at a later date. We have about 15,000 square feet here, and it's a pretty much a vertical operation. On the sixth floor, we have our painting conservation lab and photography lab. On the fifth floor, we do gilding and finishing of antique frames and reproduction frames. On the fourth floor, we assemble the artwork into their frames. We make all our mats there. We do all our hinging of works on paper and all the fitting. A lot of the people that walk into Lowy have heard about our reputation for having an extensive collection of antique frames. Today we actually pride ourselves on having a full-service conservation lab. Conservation is on everybody's mind today. Probably once a week I'm looking at a work of art with a client that is deteriorating in front of our eyes. It's just very sad to see beautiful things deteriorate. Lowy has consistently done outstanding work for us. One painting is by Thomas Dewing called The Lute. And there was a little area under the table where there was a small bit of abrasion that they took care of. They handled it in a, in a sensitive and thoughtful manner. It was, it was an example where Lowy did the conservation and also provided a spectacular frame. Conservation is, is absolutely essential to our business. I've been working with Larry and his team um, probably the last 15 years or so. Well, the first thing I look for is somebody who really knows what they're doing. This is amazing, though, isn't it? Jesus, is that... uh, what I have found with Larry is he's always been conservative, consistent, and um, he's always brought a work back better than I gave it to him. And he's never hurt anything. When you entrust a valuable work of art, you have to be completely confident that there's no risk. It really takes a professional conservator to analyze and determine um, very complicated matters. Six members. Time it was painted, it's too old to we have We need a to know and to be able to analyze exactly what we're looking at. We have a very fine staff to meet almost any challenge that comes in the door. Let's take a look at UV and see if there's any yes. end painting. We have uh, leading our uh, conservation studio, Bill Santel, who's been with us for over 30 years. Right now I'm end painting in areas of the background where there were previous losses. We fix the repair the losses by filling them if necessary, and then we proceed to end paint them. Can you see what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. I'm taking little dots of color. Mm -hmm. 
and just filling in very gently. I was in college and I decided to major in art history and I had just accidentally met a conservator by the name of Gustav Berger. He said, how would you like to work for me? You'll learn an awful lot by apprenticing with me. It's an old-fashioned thing to do, but it's a probably a very good thing to do. I learned how to do the basics of um, construction work, cleaning and in painting. I learned everything, actually. This is one method where you take a damp cork and very gently, after this is properly dried, you can proceed to very gently wipe off the excess. We're fortunate enough to have Lauren Rich, who has um, extensive experience working in Florence. I studied with a woman named Roberta Lafucci, who is one of the foremost experts on Caravaggio. I learned conservation, essentially. I mean, they have a way in Italy where they, they just, they treat paintings like, like people. They all have their own personalities, quirks and charms. The way they, they nurture these pieces is something that, that really appealed to me. It's an important job. You have sort of the old master and now the, the master student, and so far it's working out like a gem. When I left Italy, I studied chemistry at Harvard. Chemistry is a huge, huge part of conservation. Artisan skill, obviously. Chemistry or natural sciences and art history. Those three things are really integral to understanding the story of the paintings you're working on. This is a good example also of how beautifully Lily cleaned this. Um, originally you couldn't even see these beautiful ferns, it was just a big green mess. We like to call ourselves interior decorators for collectors of fine art and antiques. It's kind of the way we've distinguished ourselves. Lowy's helped us throughout the, the 25 years. What's wonderful about going to Lowy is that it's truly one-stop shopping. You bring a work of art there and it's evaluated in terms of its con conservation needs and then also framed. Uh, there really isn't another place where you can have both activities under the same roof and done with such professionalism. Much improved with the tender loving care. You know, today's buyer is very concerned about condition. We have to tell them the, the various methods that are available, the, the options, very much like a doctor, what the prognosis is. Before we do anything to the painting, we'll take it into the examination room. Maybe some cleaning tests to understand what's going on with the painting and how this happened, or what, and most importantly, why it's happening. And after our assessment, we decide on a treatment, something to make it better, like a doctor would do. We can certainly give them um, the facts to be able to make an intelligent decision. Many of the great paintings that we have sold have been restored by Lowy. Uh, it's always been handled with ultimate professionalism. This one spot here, I don't know if we're gonna do more of this. No, I think- We fix the paintings, we make them look good. Uh, great condition reports for the works of art as they've come in, a projected treatment, and then a condition report after completion of works. It's more than a service. It's, it's really something we have come to rely on. I would recommend Lowy without hesitation. I'm passionate about frames and I'm passionate about the work we do to preserve art. We do the whole number and that's very rewarding. You're really contributing to part of history. It's really a rewarding thing to be able to restore things back to a state where you can actually appreciate them the way the artist might have. The wonderful part about it is that you, you know, you're sort of the invisible hand. I think it's a noble enterprise. That's a very important part of preserving our, our heritage and the beauty around us. Just the look on people's faces when they see the finished product. It's really, it's, it's really nice, it's really rewarding. It's my life and um, I never want to give it up.